Hi everyone, this is Ali Khan and you're watching Live with NKA on Asian Trade TV. In today's episode, we're going to talk about one man from Pakistan who went through different and difficult stages of life and turned out to be a gem. He recently won the Cooley Award for his book, Mastering the Art of Success. He is an entrepreneur, he's a technologist, he's a certified trainer of Jack Canfield, John Maxwell and Les Brown. He wants to inspire and educate people of all ages. He's none other than but Mr. Noman Khan Azimi. Mr. Azimi, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Tell us about your life and your professional career. So I was born in Pakistan, a city called Faisalabad. And my parents, they moved from Faisalabad to London. When I was seven, my parents got separated and I was brought back to Faisalabad, where I spent my next 11 years. When I was 18, my dad came into our life again he was living in America at that time so he asked us if I would like to move to America which you know my mother allowed so when I came to Chicago I started my professional career over here and start doing education also uh, soon I realized I cannot carry both so I have to let go my you know educational um, you know classes so what I did at that time I was more focused on my profession and I continue doing that I made my first six-figure salary when I was 20 and made my first fortune when I was 21. I lost everything in 2007 because of you know the global crisis. Um, then I rebuilt my you know career again as a technologist and you know went through a couple of courses and started uh, a job in technology field. I also started the institute where I was teaching other people you know helping them uh, come into the field and you know long story short uh, alhamdulillah with the blessing of almighty i own a burhia group of companies where we have multiple you know companies where we train people we do software development software consulting so that was my career and which till today that is how you know my bread and butter is is through burhia group of companies fair enough okay so uh, tell us about this book what made you write this book mastering the art of success I've been through certification program with Jack Canfield and when I was in that training program Jack was you know going through table to table so he asked me tell me about yourself so I told him the story little more than what I just told you and he's like I would like to write this story in my upcoming book Mastering the Art of Success that's how I started and I submitted my chapter he liked it he and you know added to his book and that's how the Mastering the Art of Success came. Beautiful. Okay, so tell us about your experience with Jack Canfield and tell us more about him. So a lot of people don't know about Jack Canfield and I would like to tell about him because he's my mentor. Jack is a co-author of Chicken Soup for Soul series. If people don't know about Chicken Soup for Soul, I always recommend them go Google it so you can realize it, what it is. That's the book which have sold more than 500 million books and it has been translated more than 40 languages more than 250 titles are out there so in non-fictional category that's the most books sold is chicken soup for soul and i'm honored that i am co-authoring a book with jack canfield that's a huge success which in my career so far Absolutely, I agree with you. That is a huge uh, honor. Uh, now tell us about the award. You recently won the Cooley Award uh, for your book. Uh, how was that experience? Like, uh, t tell us how you felt. Um, so Cooley Award is given by National Association of Speaker, Writer and Expert. So they do award to people who have given some contribution or went through extra, you know, um, mileage in their career. So what I did, uh, when I wrote that book, I was not even expecting to be getting awarded. But, you know, with the blessing of Almighty, it went to the charts of Amazon best-selling authors. And Quilly Award was given to me by the National Association of Writers, Speakers and Experts. So it was a great, uh, uh, you know, uh, feeling when you are sharing the stage with a legend like Jack Canfield, when you are sharing the award with him, and it was held in Hollywood. Uh, the house of uh, Oscar Roosevelt Hotel and this award is also crafted by the people who have you know crafted Oscar so I'm taking this nothing less than an Oscar 
basically you're saying that this is uh, what Oscar is made up of. So guys, check this out. Uh, so my next question to you, Numan, is uh, tell us about this change. So from a technologist, you became a transformational coach. Uh, tell us about that journey. So when I reached the financial goals which I have for myself, um, I was still not getting fulfilled. And I went to my mentor and my mentor did an exercise with me which is called Find Your Life Purpose. And everything was going back to Pakistan youth, Pakistan youth. At that time, I had multiple technology companies. So I thought that maybe, you know, God wants me to go back and help Pakistani youth in technology. So I did that. I went out there. I opened a, you know, nonprofit organization called Tech in Pakistan. And we did an inauguration in early February of 2017. Uh, when I was there and I started doing some, you know, ground work and, you know, see what's going on, I realized there is so much work happening right now in Pakistan in the field of startup, incubator centers, and a lot of that. So I was not going to make a major impact. So then I realized what is missing and what I realized the self-help, uh, motivational world, and transformational coaching is really missing in Pakistan. There are a lot of people working there, but there is not much international certified trainers working in Pakistan. So I came back. I went to my coach and I asked Jack that I would like to take this his work out there. So then he recommended me to go ahead and get the certification of all the living legends right now, which you have mentioned, John Maxwell and Les Brown. So then I completed the certification with Jack Canfield, his success principle, John Maxwell, leadership work, and Les Brown, how to tell your story from the stage. So I have completed that. Now in the pipeline, I have the certification of Zig Ziglar and Tony Robbins. So my goal is to get all the certification from all the living legends. So when I'm 20, 30 years from now, I should be able to say that, that I was alive in their era and I did learn from them. So all my work, I want to take it for my Pakistani people and youth. So Numan, I have a question for you. So why the Pakistani youth? Um, there is a very important fact which a lot of people don't know that 63% of Pakistani population is under 25 years old. So what's going to happen in next 5 to 10 years that you will be dealing with people who want job. So every second person will be looking for a job. As of right now, we don't have enough jobs for the current people. Imagine this all workforce coming into the market. We won't have jobs for them. Pakistan don't have McDonald's. Pakistan don't have Twitter. Facebook would produce thousands and thousands of jobs. So what's going to happen is we are going to be creating a nation and a generation which is going to be unemployed. So what's going to happen is if you go to an ATM, you take out the money, you'll be four people will be waiting outside to take that money away from you because we don't providing them enough opportunities. So me and my mentors, we start visionizing and see what could happen in order to stop this, you know, what, 10, 20 years problem which we're going to be facing. So the solution for this is creating startup community, helping people to realize that what is the benefit of self-employed and giving them the opportunity to create businesses on their own. So I'm learning from the living legend like John Maxwell, Jack Canfield, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, take their work because I'm certified to take their work all over the world bring it to Pakistani youth because they won't have the access to come and get it certification from them. So therefore, um, I think it's my duty. What I have been learning from them, take it to Pakistani youth. Awesome. So that's like you're like a link between uh, these uh, amazing trainers and the youth of Pakistan. Okay, so what I want to ask you next is, so what's the next step from here? So the next step from here is uh, I'm going to Pakistan. I have planned a tour which is called Journey to Transformation. Mm -hmm. That is also the name of my next book, which is coming, uh, you know, in February of 2018. In that journey to transformation, I'll be traveling from cities like Karachi to all the way to Kashmir. And we have so far planned 35 seminars in major cities and universities. So I'm going to be going out there 
talking to people, letting them know what kind of access they have through me. Also, I'm going to be gathering the requirement that what they want, what is their really pain point, what is really bothering them, what is going to stop them become successful. So after I'm going to get all that work, I'm going to come back, I'm going to work with my uh, mentors. They are fully committed with me to work for Pakistani youth specifically because of we don't want them to be frustrated five to ten years from now. So we are going to be working on a schedule for them, making sure they give their part like John Maxwell, Jack Canfield, Les Brown and other you know uh, trainers from the world. They're going to go you know doing the webinars for them. So we are still in the process of defining the courses, the content, the workshops and the seminar. So my this tour is mainly requirement gathering to see what the youth really want. So that's whole journey to transformation. I'm looking forward towards that. All right, Numan, so tell us more about this next book of yours, Journey to Transformation. Yes, so uh, this book is co-authored with Jack Canfield and a lot of professionals from around the world. Uh, my solo book, Journey to Transformation, is coming in February 2018. So it, I will be having that with my tour, you know, people can buy it and get um, autographed by me. Um, I love to do a personal one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, conversation with them while I'm signing the book. Um, so in that book, I have wrote the fundamental of how anybody can transform their life. You know, I told you earlier that I made my first fortune when I was 21 and lost when I was 26, right? So I've been through this roller coaster ride in my life and what was the fundamental which really keep me you know running and made me today what I am is in that book. So it is as the word says journey to transformation you guys can learn about your you know personal, professional, financial transformation whatever the transformation you want to achieve the fundamental is in that book. Also, you know, I would like to mention that there is another book coming, which is Heart of Success. And in that book, what I'm doing, I'm interviewing the top entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who have been successful in Pakistan. So I'm taking the stories of Pakistanis and I'm putting that in a form of a book, which can be, a, you know, a guide for entrepreneurs. So you will learn from the stories of successful people who made it in the same country with the same circumstances everybody else is going through. So that is also a book. Um, it's going to be coming in like mid of next year. All right, that's nice. All right, so what advice do you want to give to the Pakistani youth? Uh, you know, the advice I want to give to Pakistani youth is, number one, don't let the circumstances define your destiny. So when we just, you know, raise kids, we start with no you can't do this. If they were raised in a family where everybody was doing a job, what you think the kid is going to, you know, growing up thinking, oh, I need to find a job. So there are 90% of the people around the world who does job. So all their kids grow up with limiting beliefs. They don't believe that they do have access to the resources with other people does. So number one, first of all, you need to understand one thing. Don't let the circumstance, you know, affect your destiny. That's number one thing. Second thing is start reading the books of successful people. As they say, if you want to become a doctor, read the books of doctors. If you want to become an engineer, read the books of, you know, engineers. If you want to become successful, if you want to become a millionaire, then go ahead, start reading their books. Start learning what they do. And one more thing is, you, they say, you are an average of five people you hang around with. So don't expect you're hanging around with people who are really struggling in their life and you're going to make it to the top. No. Try to find around you people who have been successful. And there are a lot of people out there who are ready to mentor you. There are a lot of people out there who are ready to invest time in you. So find those mentors, go out and work with them and I'm sure slowly, slowly you will be able to achieve what you want to achieve. All right, that makes sense. All right, so now tell us this. So if anybody wants to be part of your mission, so what are your instructions for them? Um, you know, I really want um, a lot of people around the world to come and join me because this is not only me. This is about 
Pakistan. This is about the youth. This is about that 63%. So you can go to my website, nomanhan.com. And over there, there are three sections. Uh, one is be part of my mission where you can sign in and let us know that I will be voluntarily one hour a year seminar. I have expertise of how to do an online business, so I will do a seminar on that. I can train people on how to be a best selling author and so on and so forth. So a lot of talent is out there. Even Pakistani people who have achieved in their life, they don't know what to do because not everybody can go give up their luxurious life in uh, outside the country, go back to Pakistan and contribute. So through this uh, mission which I'm carrying, we will be able to take those people and have them reach to Pakistan, people of Pakistan and work with them. So that's one part is, you know, be part of my mission. The second one is get the NKA certification. So I have, uh, you know, spent a lot of time and resources to get the certification. So far, all the certification are costing me huge amount of money. And I'm sure that not everybody in Pakistan can have the access for those resources. So I have created a content which I'm taking from all of these people put together a content together and I'll be offering the certifications so you can get certified trainer from the Man Khan Azimi and then you can go back to your communities and in your cities and teach those fundamentals of success the success principle how to tell your story and a lot other to your you know community so you can become a certified trainer for that and the last one is the you know book an event so if you want me to come to your university your college your community just go out there put a request um, I will be traveling every three to four months to Pakistan and I would love to travel to the small cities you know major cities wherever you want me to do, you know come over there and speak and inspire the youth the people around uh, you know that community I love to do that so go ahead join me as a volunteer in my mission whatever the services you can provide you can get a certification from me one on one or in the group format and also you can book an event and a seminar. So please do go visit my website nomanhan.com and I'm trying to update that on daily basis. So whatever I am adding to my group which is NKA group we have divided that into multiple um, you know things we are working on. We are still again I'm going to repeat we are in a defining moment of my mission. So it will move as we move forward. All right, Noman, thank you so much for the beautiful advice. We wish you good luck for your upcoming book, and we hope that you win another award. All right, guys, so that was Noman Khan Azimi talking about his life, his experiences, the fun he had in writing this book, and all his future plans. For more information about him, please log on to www.nomanhan.com. And thank you so much for watching Live with NKA on Asian Trade TV. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.